just nearly here, and the reason we're in third person, or whatever, is because today I'm showing you how to fix the Xbox 360E red dot of death. Well, red ring of death. And I recently got this, and I found a way to fix it. And people who comment on this video, if you, if you do, sorry guys, if you do, saying you can't, well guess what, you can even talk to Microsoft about it. I'd show you, but it's already fixed, but I'm going to show you and tell you how to fix it. So, what you do is, alright, so, this is my Xbox 360E. And when you, on any 360 console, if you ever experience Red Dot of Death, take out your hard drive. Do not leave it in. It can break. This one right here, it's broken. I, I, I don't care. I could throw it on the ground. It's broken because of, I left it in and it's messed up. But, yeah. So... What you do is, you turn it on, whoops, fail, so you turn it on, right, and mine's just going to stay green because obviously I, I fixed it, so if it turns red right here, and if this doesn't turn red, that means that your Xbox has red ring. If this one turns red, that means your um your power supply isn't giving your system enough power and this is your Xbox 360 saying we're not getting enough power. I don't know why that's up there. So what you do is you go to the back right here, unplug all supplies of power. So Unplug everything from it. USB controllers, everything. And what you want to do is, you want to, um, you, it, it could be, t it could take two hours, it could take a day. What I want you to do is, like, wait for a day, plug it back in, turn it on. It should be gone. If it isn't, then you might have to wait two more days. I had to wait about five hours and it fixed itself but yeah so that's how you fix the Xbox 360 E or Xbox 360 Super Slim so guys